Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to teach you how to download and install Optifine for Minecraft 1.20. This is Optifine. As you can see, we could zoom in and we actually have shaders working. So now you could access the settings of your game and make your game run better with Optifine. So if you want to learn how to download and install Optifine and fix any issues you might have along the way for Minecraft 1.20, make sure you watch this video until the end and let's get started with the tutorial. Now guys, the step number one to actually download and install Optifine is actually downloading Optifine. And in order to download Optifine, go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our reading guide on how to download and install Optifine. In here, you could, of course, read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but I'm assuming most of you just want to follow along the video. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click the button that says download Optifine here. That is going to redirect you to the Optifine website. Now, as you can see, it says Minecraft 1.20 pre-release 4. Now, that is because Optifine is not out fully for Minecraft 1.20. However, in the future, it will be out in here and we will be able to download the full Optifine version. However, as of right now, we could actually download the preview version and it will still work as if it was a full Optifine 1.20. However, we just have to be a little bit patient. It usually takes one or two weeks before the full Optifine is out here. So yeah, if you are watching this in the future and instead of seeing this in here, instead of seeing 1.20 pre 4, you actually see 1.20 and no pre and you just see a button that says download, go ahead and click on that button. But as of right now, we actually have to click preview version and then click download here on the pre-release version. Anyways, this is still going to work with Minecraft 1.20. So we're going to go ahead and download that and we're going to wait for that to load here on the top right. As you can see, there's a five second timer. You don't have to click anything. Just let the timer go. And then when you see a button that says escape, go ahead and click on that. That is going to redirect you over here where we're going to download Optifine 1.20. Go ahead and click on that button that says download. That is going to start the download automatically. In my case, it's asking me where to save the file, but for you, it's probably going to download automatically. I'm going to go ahead and save it to my downloads folder. And then you could probably find that file if you're using Chrome. If you click on this little arrow, you'll probably find that file in there in the top right, this little arrow. And what we're going to do is drag and drop this file into our desktop. We actually have to wait for this little blue bar to go away, as you can see. That means that the file was downloading and as you can see, it's already done. So we could drag and drop it into our desktop. Now, the next step is actually installing Optifine. But before we install Optifine, you do have to keep in mind that Optifine 1.20 requires you to have Java 17. And when I talk about Java, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about a software that allows Minecraft Minecraft Java and mods such as Optifine to run on your computer. So you're going to need to actually download and install Java 17. Keep that in mind. I actually have a written guide that I just made. Like it's really uh, recently made. It's completely updated with frequently asked questions and everything about Java 17 because we did have another guide, but some of you all were saying that it was a bit outdated because it was for Java 18. So I went ahead and made this new guide for Java 17 on how to download and install Java 17. And this is a requirement. I repeat, this is a requirement to actually install Optifine 1.20. If you try to install Optifine 1.20, without Java 17. What will happen is that this little icon in here might not even open. When you double click on this, it might launch a website, it might launch something else, okay? So you actually want to install Java 17. But how do you install Java 17, you might ask? Well, you do have this guide in the description if you click on the third link, but I'm gonna show you how to install Java 17 real quick before we install Optifine. It's a really simple process. So go ahead and come to the guide with the third link, click the button that says download on here, right? Scroll down and click download. That is going to redirect you to the Java website. In here, you're going to look for Java 17, JDK 17. Go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to click on Windows. Once you're in Windows, you're going to select the x64 installer. And then you're going to click on this little blue line in here. That is going to start the download for the installer of Java 17. As you can see, we're going to drag and drop that installer into our desktop, just like we did with Optifine. There we go. It is ready. We could go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. Now that we have the Java 17 installer, all we have to do is double click it. So go ahead and double click that. And once you double click on the installer, it's going to prompt you with the administrator sign. Go ahead and allow the app to run. And then the installer will open. And as you can see, in my case, it's saying this software has already been installed on your computer. Would you like to reinstall it? I'm going to reinstall it just for the purpose of this tutorial so you guys could see what to do. But if you already have it, then you're good. If you try to install Java 17 and it gives you this little error right here, all you have to do is click no and then delete the installer. But for those of you that don't have it, let's go ahead and click yes. And then let's go ahead and install it. As you can see, it's removing the older version and I, I just hit my hand against the desk. I don't know if the microphone picked it up. I hope it did. So go ahead and leave a like because I just hurt myself for this tutorial. But as you can see, the installer will look something like this. Then we could click next next and then just wait for java 17 to install and while java 17 is installing i have to let you know about today's sponsor apex hosting apex hosting was kind enough to provide you with a 25 percent off discount 
for those of you that use the first link in the description to create your first server with Apex hosting, okay? So you could actually create a Java or Bedrock server that is open 24 seven, is hosted online, so you don't even have to use your own computer, your own resources, and Apex hosting will take care of the setting up for you. You could do a modded server, non-modded, you could use Optifine, whatever you wanna use on the server, you could use. And something that I personally love about Apex hosting is that you could actually use your cell phone to actually access a server console and do whatever you want with your server. So let's say that you need to kick out someone or change the settings of the server, you could do that from your phone even if you're not at home. So I'm gonna leave that first link in the description to get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting and make sure you take advantage of that deal now because I don't know how much it's gonna last. So now let's get back into the tutorial. And as you can see, Java 17 has already been installed. All we have to do now is close it and delete the Java 17 installer. Now the next step, if you have ever installed Java on your computer, you know that the next step is running a jar fix. You need to run a jar fix because as you can see, if we click on this file, it says that jar at the end. And what happens is that we need to link the new Java Java installation to our jar files, okay? In order to do that, all you have to do is click on the fourth link in the description, which is our written guide on how to run a jar fix. It's literally a three-step process. It's one, two, and actually it's a two-step process. It's super, super simple. Running a jar fix is as easy as downloading jar fix and running it. I'm not gonna do that in this guide because I'm already making it long enough, but for those of you that need to fix your jar files after you install Java, all you have to do is download the jar fix and then double click it. That's it, super, super simple. Anyways, once you have updated Java, if you needed to update Java and you run the jar fix, if you needed to run the jar fix, all you have to do now is double click Optifine. Make sure that before you double click Optifine, you have closed your Minecraft 1.20 and your Minecraft launcher, okay? So once Minecraft is completely closed, go ahead and double click on Optifine and then just click on install. Installing Optifine is super, super quick. As you can see, Optifine is successfully installed. Actually, the longer part is getting everything else set up before installing Optifine, right? Installing Optifine is super simple. And now that Optifine is installed, we could even delete the installer. Now, in order to launch Optifine, all we have to do is open the Minecraft launcher. And as you can see, once the Minecraft launcher is open, if you install Optifine properly, Optifine 1.20 should be selected automatically down here on the bottom left. As you can see, I already have it selected and it should be selected automatically as well for all of you. Now, let's go ahead and test out if Optifine is working. Let's go ahead and click on play. Now, if you wanna test shaders with Optifine, all you have to do is download some shaders. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. It's probably gonna be the fifth link to download complementary reinforced shaders, which I think are the best shaders by far for like Minecraft. So let's go ahead and create a Minecraft world for this 1.20 release. Let's name it 1.20 and create world. And let's go ahead and launch into it. Now, like I said before, this is an Optifine for the pre-release 1.20 and I actually have X-Ray on because I was doing a video on that earlier. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take the resource pack off real quick. As you can see, we have X-Ray Ultima 1.20. So that video should be out already. If you wanna watch it, you could watch it after this one. But as you can see, if we are back in the game, we have Optifine working, we have shaders on, right? And like I was saying before I got interrupted by X-Ray, this Optifine is for the pre-release right now as of the moment that I'm making this video. However, one or two weeks from now, this will be completely updated to 1.20 and you should be able to play with Optifine 1.20. And something that is great with Optifine, if we press C, could actually zoom in. I think that's great. And obviously you now have a bunch of different options if you go to video settings to actually change the whole settings of Optifine. If you wanna set this up so your game to run better and faster and everything loads better, this is the place that you go to. And we actually have a video on that, on how to set up Optifine to the best. I'm probably gonna leave that video right now on the screen. And this video is to run Optifine at the best settings to optimize. So you could go probably from 60 FPS to like 500, 600 FPS. So yeah, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and watch this video right now. 